This is a video for how to go about linking a Revit structure to another Revit file that is a Revit site plan. So you'll notice that on the screen here, I have a Revit site plan all set up. You will notice that they have an elevation datum here with their elevation above sea level. You'll notice that there is some site examples in here, like a driveway and a concrete pad to build on. If I come up here and I go to view and I go to 3D view, you're going to notice this is kind of, you know, a area that has some streets around it, you know, has some telephone poles up. So this is really just the site that something's going to be built on. Now, when we go to elevations, you're going to notice that the base elevation of our concrete pad is 768 feet. That's going to matter from when we come in and we decide to try to link our existing house that I have separate into here. So I have to remember that 768. So I'm going to go to open and I'm going to scroll down until I see um, my Revit folder I have right here and I'm just going to this thing called my house and I'm going to go to open and when I come into my site plan you're going to see my existing site link there and you're going to notice that I have an elevation over here of zero if I come into my elevations here I have it zero here and eight feet six inches above so let's go back to our site plan and one thing we want to do is we want to uncheck this little clip mark right here and so we want to say because we're not going to say we're going to clip it to any certain point right now for our elevation right here I'm going to put in 768 feet and I'm going to hit enter and we're going to want to go back to our elevations over here and notice how we're kind of off how this is negative 768 and this is negative 759. I want to come in here and change this and I have eight and a half feet above this so I'm going to say 766 uh, feet excuse me I'm going to go feet and I'm going to say six inches and you know that's obviously going to skyrocket um, excuse me, I have 776 776 feet and six inches and I'm going to hit enter, and obviously that's going to be way high in there. We're just going to go to regular 768 here, 768, 768 feet, and hit enter. And if we zoom out, if I just hit the Z on my keyboard and hit enter, you're going to hit Z for zoom on your keyboard and hit enter. It's going to obviously go back and show us that we now have these elevations. Now, these elevations will align now with our existing site plan that we're going to link to. We're going to go ahead and say save. And we're going to go ahead and get out of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of X out. You can leave it open if you want, but I'm going to go back to my Habitat for Humanity site plan. I want to zoom in right here. And we're going to go up to Insert, and we're going to go to Revit Link. And when we're in Revit Link, I'm going to go to my folder. I'm going to find my My House, and you want to go to Auto, and you want to say Project Base Point to Project Base Point. And we're going to go ahead and say Open. And you're going to notice it's going to just place this kind of, you know, in an area just of its own choosing. Now, if we go to our elevation views now, you will see that our house is sitting right in here nicely. Now, we have this level two, like way up above, but that was part of the site plan. We now have our house sitting and resting since we went in and changed our elevations. We can now see it resting there. Let's go back to our site plan. We want to rotate this and move it. So we're just going to tap on the house, and we're going to come up, and we're going to go. I just want to tap make sure we just have that. I want to go to move, and I'm going to move this corner right here over to this corner of our building pad. And then if we want to rotate it, we're going to come up and we're going to make sure we have this selected again. And we're going to go to rotate. And you want to choose place for your center of rotation. And I'm going to come out and say, you know, my center of rotation, I'm going to place right here. And I want to move this up and I want to line it up with the back right here. So I'm going to click and line that up with the back. And it should move. So let's come back up here again. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to go to place. I'm going to click. I'm going to drag up. I'm sorry, I forgot to drag along this line at first. But sorry about that. I'm going to drag this back, and we're going to place it. And it's now rotated, and it's right up against the back. Now, you're going to notice that this doesn't perfectly fit this pad. I made this house uh, separate from this exact pad dimensions. Now, the main point of the video is how do I go about linking you know, one Revit file to the other? So this is kind of a little car carport over here on the side. This is the front door. Obviously, this doesn't fit perfectly onto the site of what we're talking about, but the main point of the video is how do I link one site to another? And what's nice about this is that if I go in and I change anything to my design here, it, it would automatically update onto this site. So you can have one architect or a site planner working on the site, an architect working on the building structure, and you can have these linked together. So that's the main way to go about actually placing, you know, different sites onto, let's say, an, a neighborhood or, or, or a block of homes or a subdivision is you have a site plan, then you have your separate structures that you can place differently from outside of Revit. So this has been a video on how to go about linking one Revit structure onto an existing site plan.